Hi and welcome to this Art Mind Map 11 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to just get started with Art Mind Map and get stuck into your new software. So starting here at the Art Mind Map home screen, you've got a choice of all six of our views. Mind Map, Fast Capture, Radio Map, Time Map, Brainstorm and Organisational Chart. For this uh, tutorial I'm going to start in Mind Map view but you can start in any of our views. So to select my map view, I'm going to simply click and I'm greeted with this central idea library. So from here, I want to pick a central image that most closely reflects what my project is about. And this project is about a film idea I've got. So I click to select this central idea image and hit start. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is name my project. So to do so, I simply double click on the central idea text. I'm given this text box and I'm free to edit it. Hit in enter to save. So for my map I want to get started by drawing some branches. So hovering over the central idea image I am greeted with this branch drawing tool. So to draw a basic branch I'm going to click and drag from the red icon. Place it where it meant to be. I can double click the branch to add text, hit an enter again and there's my first branch. So in some cases you might want a box branch so back to my central idea I'm going to hit the yellow ring this time and again click and drag. So box branches are really good when you have a little bit more text so something like this, hit and enter once again. Brilliant, so now you've got the basic idea of branch drawing tools from the central idea, you can then begin to add them as child branches from your main branches. So for example here, I'm gonna start developing this character idea with a name of a character. So fast forward and we've now got a completed basic mind map. Now from here, um, I just want to show you how you might move into a different view. So up in the top left here, you can see we're in my map view. If you click here, you have all of the iMindMap 11 views to choose from. So let's move this over to radial map view. Click to select and iMindMap will begin to build that for you. So here is our radial map. As you can see, all the ideas have been pulled through from our mind map and it's created this really lovely looking radial map. Again, if you want to change once again to a different view, use this drop down menu and select, for example, org chart. So this will create an organizational chart, which is just another way of viewing what we have created for our project in a more linear or tree-like diagram. So hopefully this will have given you a couple of ideas of how to get started with your iMindMap software. Um, we do have other tutorials over on our YouTube channel so head over there now and keep on learning.